a normal blood sugar is 80, and I would often run low. I would go as low as 18. So it became very problematic for me. Um, things like driving became an issue. I've had three major car accidents. Things like taking a nap. I couldn't do that without setting three or four different alarms in the house. If I didn't wake up, the paramedics would come to the house. So the paramedics were known as my friends because they were coming at least twice a week. I really became what I call a prisoner in my own body. Friends often say that's corny, but it's true. I couldn't do anything. So I came to the City of Hope that said there's an experimental procedure known as an islet cell transplant. It's very experimental, it's never been done at the City of Hope, and they said, are you interested in checking it out? I said, absolutely. I've had two islet cell transplants, one in April of 2004 and one in June of 2004. So it's been 10 years, and I have not had a low blood sugar episode in 10 years. So. This transplant not only saved my life, it, it changed my life. I can drive, I can travel, I can travel alone. Before I could never, ever go anywhere alone because I never knew when I was going to have low blood sugar. The other day I took a book and I went to the beach by myself. I could never have done that when I was experiencing all the low blood sugars because I, I couldn't be left alone. City of Hope has a saying, there's no profit in curing the body if it if in the process you destroy the soul. And that is so incredibly true because at the City of Hope, you are not just a number or a disease, you're a person that has emotions, that has feelings. They deal with your entire being. And that goes beyond any kind of, I mean, when you come here and you're so sick and you think that there's no hope, there is hope. 